Welcome back to the O Show for episode three of season two, and we're here at the training ground, and we've got a great episode lined up for you. But it's getting a little bit wet out here, so let's head inside. Right, I'm joined now by roommates Josh Coulson and Craig Clay. Craig, thank you very much for joining us. How are we doing, Josh? How are we doing, boys? It's uh, been a bit of a long week for, for you guys, I'm guessing. Yep. A lot of travelling. Yeah, yeah, a lot of travelling, yeah. How, how are you both feeling? Uh, not too bad today, obviously. We got, um, it was in Wednesday after the game, just a recovery off mm. yesterday, so short and sharp say yes, not feeling too bad. And then it wasn't an evening that really <coughs> went to plan on Tuesday, was it? No. Josh? No, they're, look, they're a good side, mm. um, very good at what they do. Thought we were very organised, disciplined, especially first half. Um, obviously, got, I thought their first goal was quite a good goal. It could have stopped, we could have probably done a lot mm. more to prevent that, but second goal is just a, a mistake that we need to start to cut out of our game. Mm. And we're, we're here today just to, you know, quickly, it's a new season. We did it a bit last season, we've got some new players, it's a newish group. I'm going to just find out a little bit about the boys and, and you give us your opinion. Let's do it, yeah, yeah. No new material from the ocean. No, yeah, <laughs> same old, same old. Yeah. Right, so I'll start off, you know, pretty easy. Who's the biggest moaner in the group so far this pre-season? No, I'm not top. You're I'm up. probably like... I can handle your moaning. Top so. five, yeah. Um, yeah. This season... Broves, Broves could be Broves. 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 No, that's it. Broves, Broves yeah. Broves has been I've a bit... You, you've really had a few new. nibbles from yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. Broves is getting whiny. Yeah. Yeah, just that little child. Yeah, that whiny child. Yeah, 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 yeah. It? Needs a little clip around the ear. Broves, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, Broves, done for that one. All right. Well, looking then at especially your pre-season training, who came back firing the most? Who was on form when they got back? Who was? George. George, fitness-wise, yeah. came back was absolutely busting the running. Um, Fit as. Yeah, he was usually running. suspects. Mar yeah. Was that? Hmm. Mark as good as last year. Last year he was, he was yeah, but he's still fit. But yeah, George was. Everyone was. Fit. Everyone were all yeah. It was all genuinely quite yeah. fit. But yeah. you can't come back not fit these days. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say who was the worst. Who, who came Charlie back? Charlie Lee's who, gone, isn't he? Yeah. Who was oh. the worst this year? No one. Got like no one. one. No. Nah. No one noticeable. Yes, please. So just not that bad. No one noticeable. Apart from when he nearly had an asthma attack last year, but <laughs> <laughs> this year he's been like pretty fine. Yeah. Um, no one st stands out. In the out. goal front, I can't remember who. That was horrific. Yeah, that was the what worst thing I've ever done. We had to run front. around this golf course in Spain. Aiden oh, Hill. Oh, up, down. It but was the hills. It was never ending. I honestly didn't realise I was getting up the last hill. I'll put it out there. How long did it take? Like 17 minutes, wasn't yeah. it? Which might not sound like, might not sound like it's very hard. Well but them driving past me in the buggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, then four new sign ins. Who had the best and the worst initiation songs? <laughs> the best initiation song was Mike. Was Mike. Not, Cooper. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not, yeah, not Mike's was incredible. It was Craig David. Incredible. It? Craig David. And yeah. he, he had it. Film in. Oh my god. We Seven days. Dinner, yeah. Seven he was days. incredible. Very good. The worst. Um, who was nervous? Yeah. Louis John. Connor was <laughs> nervous, yeah, but. <laughs> are you well, going to say? No, nah, Louis was not the best. <laughs> Why? Because he did a rap. It made me awkward. It was really awkward. <laughs> what did Louis do? He did his own rap. It was really good. Yeah, yeah. So it was great. I just. I had his own one. one. He's yeah, his own rap. He wrote his own rap and that. Oh, yeah. It was really good. Okay. Con who was it that was nervous at? Connor, Connor was really nervous. Connor was really nervous. Really right, 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 was right, right he was. Was right he quite nervous? Right, he was quiet. Yeah. But he was alright. Yeah. I was really hoping Con would be bad. What did Connor go for? Done alright. can't remember. I can't remember what song. We was at the restaurant in Spain. He's kind of one of them now. He just a bit like. I wanted him to really crumble, but he didn't. Do you yeah. reckon we can get Louis on doing his own rap? Yeah, I reckon he would. I reckon he would definitely. Yeah. 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 Well, he writes yeah. his own stuff, so I don't don't see why he won't come in and spit a few bars. Bill. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, just to wrap it up, then boys, who would and wouldn't you want to be stuck on a desert island with? Straight up, Johnny. I'd, I'd pick my roommate. Anywhere, I'd want to be on. You want to be on with my roommate? Yeah, I yeah. would be with you. Yeah. We'd, the only, fun. Yeah, the only reason I would pick Jody, I wouldn't pick him because he'd be useless at everything, wouldn't yeah. have a clue, but he would be funny. Like, for entertainment no, value, if you're bored, just sat there sometimes. <laughs> no. He'd do something stupid, he'd probably like liven you up, but I anything else. Be, I don't want to be sat at lunch with him, so yeah, definitely not true, yeah, on yeah. the desert island with him. Poor Jody. Um, but if it weren't my roommate, I'm trying to think. Who, who do you think would know how to build a raft? Or... Oh, good question. Like, Build a good tent, something. Joby. Joby. Joby has said he's quite hands on, like a bit of a handyman. There's a few Joby men. Majority of people in there are not handy at all, mate. Or nah. It so. would be an older forager. Who's a good forager? It'd be an older one. I wouldn't want to be stuck with any young lad these days. 
happening. Oh Absolutely. my god. Imagine trying to build a raffle down. Imagine Hattie. Dan Hattie Oh my god. Her. Imagine he don't, have, he don't have to tie his own legs there. <laughs> build a raft. He'd be absolutely struggling, but yeah, it'd be. I'm going with you, mate. Me and you. Yeah, stick with you. Broomies. Matt, I, I bet Matty wants well. to mention him, but. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Matty. Is he good with hands on stuff? <sighs> Joby would be a good one. Yeah, Joby would. Yeah, because he's, he's, he's quite hands on, so maybe Jobs. I think he'd be quite smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so go quite, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Well, thank you, boys. Uh, we've got Stevenage coming up tomorrow at the Bro Group Stadium. I'm guessing you boys are looking forward to getting back out in front of the home fans after a couple of tough away games. Yeah, it's, it's been hard, but I think obviously the spirit around the camp is like, we're not worried. We're only with the two league games in, you know what I mean? We've had mm. one, one win, one loss. Like, it's still very early days, you know mm. what I mean? So, yeah, we're excited to get out of there. Obviously, a home game as well, so looking to get the three points. And you. Looking to get yourself on the score sheet soon with your big head. Finish the season oh, wow. so strongly. Be nice for a striker to score a goal, wouldn't it? Be nice for a centre mid to score a goal, wouldn't it? Awesome. Well, be nice right, for me to nick a goal, yeah. A bit, so it's my turn now, yeah. Just a goal would be Just nice. Just hoping for a few goals. Yeah. 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 Nice. Well, thank you very much for joining us, boys. Cheers. Cheers, yeah. Best of luck tomorrow. Cheers, thank you. Top stuff from Calls and Craig. Now let's take a look at the boys in training this week and see how they've been getting on. Oh! oh. Boys have been looking sharp this week. Let's hope that transfers into tomorrow's game against Stevenage. Now we've got our assistant head coach waiting for us in the boot room again. Let's go see how he's getting on. Right, so I'm joined now by Danny Webb. Danny, been a pretty long week, I'm guessing, for you, but how have you been? Yeah, a lot, lot of, uh, of travelling, as I suppose those supporters know full well, uh, last two games. And unfortunately, two defeats, but uh, luckily we've got a game tomorrow to... to turn it round and get back to winning ways. So it's, it's been three games, two league games and one cup fixture and it probably hasn't been the brightest of start but it's a it's a tough challenge being back in the Football League and, and the Carabao Cup which we haven't competed in for a couple of seasons, isn't it? Yeah, I think if you <clears throat> got Cheltenham, Macclesfield, Plymouth, they're all teams with all due respect to last year who would have been up there in the conference. You know, they're strong teams just because they might be favourites to be down the bottom end doesn't mean that we're going to turn up and... Mm and sort of walk all over them. Uh, I think there was a lot of positives from Macclesfield and a lot of positives at Plymouth. Uh, but after a while, we need to turn those positives into points because that's what it's all about. But I'd rather have things to learn from and improve on two or three games in than start trying to turn things around 20 games in. So uh, the boys have got pats on the back for the things they've done well. They've got a bit of advice and criticism for things we can do better. And hopefully we'll, uh, we'll see the results of that tomorrow. And it's... Obviously, probably been a long week for you with all the travelling and a long week for all the fans. But how have the boys been in shaping up in training and, and physically? How have they been? Good, very good. I think uh, <clears throat> obviously nowadays with all the, the different medical and sports science departments, you, you sort of manage them quite well. The players are looked after very well in terms of what they do and how much they train and rest, etc. But uh, I think they've, I think they've, they've trained really well considering it's been a long week. Today, especially, was probably a longer Friday than usual. Went through a few more stuff than. Uh, few more bits, sorry, that we'd normally do on a Friday. Usually Fridays are quite short and sharp. It's done a little bit more more tactical work today. And uh, boys are boys are raring to go. Because we do welcome back Stevenage to the Bragg Group Stadium. A 
opposition that's pretty familiar to a lot of fans. It's always a tough fixture and one that I'm guessing you're looking forward to, especially getting back out in front of the home fans. Yeah, I think <clears throat> you can go to, to Plymouth the other night, who are, I would say, probably in the top two or three favourites uh, to, to get promotion. Steaming has lost their first three games, but it, you know it, it means it means nothing. I don't think. I think if anything, it, it makes it hard because they'll see it as sooner or later we're going to get a win. So we have to make sure that that's not tomorrow. But we only do that by sticking to our game plan, approaching the game professionally as we always do, and uh, giving the fans something to sing about. And, and looking aside from kind of results, because obviously it's so early in the season, how have you kind of taken the last three performances, especially taking into consideration the, the tougher challenges? I think uh, <clears throat> Cheltenham, I thought, was after the rocky period we had when uh, Dino went off injured. Sarge come on, done ever so well, and then we, we, we dominated the game. Uh, people say about nine men, but we were one nil up sort of before that, and I think we would have touched wood, I think we would have won anyway. Uh, Macclesfield, there were some good moments. We, we had the pitch weren't great, conditions weren't great, but they got the win. They scored three goals, we let in three goals. I think a couple of the goals we conceded, we looked at and... Hopefully that don't happen again, the sort of goals we can see. So as I say, two games in, I'd rather us make those mistakes early to put them right for a nice long season ahead of us. Uh, but there were some still positives in that. And Plymouth the other night, there were some really good periods of play. Uh, I think if we get the first goal, it's different, but that's, you know, that's anyone can say that, get the first goal. Cheltenham could have said that, but they didn't. We got it and you look at the outcome. So I think the first goal is massive without stating the obvious. Uh, but we come away from Macclesfield and Plymouth with, with some positive things, but also some things to work on and... I think as a coach, it's very rare you look at a game that you lose and sort of go, well, we lost, but how do we lose? Or when you can actually come away and think, that's why we lost, that's what we can do better and give the players a little bit of clear sort of information on, on things they can do better. Uh, I think you have to take that as a positive and take it forward into your next game. And that's one thing I'm big on is always looking forward uh, because whether we'd won the first three or lost the first three or, or got what we got, uh, to, tomorrow is a completely different game and you, you have to just take the old say and take each, each game as it comes Well I'm looking forward to seeing the boys back out in action on Saturday and thank you very much thank for joining you, me man. today Dan it's been a pleasure and that is it for today's episode of the O Show massive thank you to you guys at home for watching and of course thanks to Craig Clay Josh Coulson and Danny Webb for appearing now I'll see you tomorrow at the Bray Group Stadium when we're back in action against Stevenage up the O's